So I wanted to talk about two of the posts that I did on Instagram this week that I think are just such important messages to constantly think about. Firstly, being your biggest cheerleader. I'm so grateful for the support that, and the community that I have, but at the end of the day, I think anybody who is building a brand, you shouldn't be relying on other people to show their support constantly because at the end of the day, I promise you, you'll be disappointed. And I experienced this before. There were times um, in my previous business where I would feel like, why isn't this person supporting me? Or why doesn't this person like my posts enough? Or why doesn't this person comment? And it would bother me. And you know what? I have learned now that it does not matter if somebody likes my posts or comments on my posts or shares my posts. You know what matters? It matters that I believe in what I'm sharing, that I believe so vehemently in what I'm doing and the messages that I'm putting out there and the content that I'm putting out there, that it doesn't bother me if someone doesn't like or comment on my post because I believe in it and I feel like it's valuable. So my message is you need to be your biggest cheerleader. Not always on your best day, but on your worst day because the best days, it's, it's easier to fly by without worrying about people supporting you or commenting or whatever it is. But on those hard days when it's like, oh, you don't feel like doing this or you start to second guess yourself and question yourself, don't do it. You need to consistently believe in yourself all the time. It's gotta be work and it's gotta be effort and it's gotta be positive changing those negative thoughts in your mind. So my goal for myself too is to be my biggest cheerleader and not let myself get sucked into that vortex of social media, feeling down because some people aren't liking my comments or sharing them or commenting or following me. Like who cares? If you truly 100% believe in the messaging that you're putting out there and the content that you're putting out there, you will attract the right people. You will create your own community. But at the end of the day, people get busy and they can't always be there to support you. So you need to be your biggest cheerleader. You need to always put one foot in front of the other and just keep going because you believe in what you're doing. When you can do that every single day, no matter how good the day is or how crappy the day is, that gives you power. That makes you feel connected. It doesn't matter who is supporting you as long as you 100% believe and support in yourself. The other post I did this week, which I feel is really important and really resonates with her stories and why I even started this in the first place is make your mess your message. I spent half of my life being ashamed and embarrassed of my childhood. I was a child I had no control over my childhood. Like so many other people out there, I had no control of my childhood as a kid. And so many of us, after having trauma as a kid, end up being embarrassed and ashamed. As we get older, they don't, we don't really want to tell our true story out of fear of judgment. And at the end of the day, we didn't do anything wrong. We were the kids. Once I reached my 20s, I realized that. And the way that I started to heal from that it was to talk about it, to share it. It wasn't my fault, it's not your fault, and I think it's so important that when I say make your mess your message, for me, sharing all the things that I went through, that's my message now. So I challenge you to do the same because it connects and unites women and it's meaningful.